I hadn't planned to write a book until somebody said to me, when are you going to write your book? And then, but the, the, real, the thing that really cemented the determination to write it was conversations I had with women graduate students at Berkeley. I mean, it was clear from their conversation that they were interested in knowing my experiences. When I first went to Berkeley, I was the, that was in 1981, I was the first woman on the physics faculty there, and now there are five out of, out of 55 active faculty, and uh, that's about the, roughly the percentage of graduating PhDs. The number of faculty appointed has grown. The number of women PhDs in physics sort of grew steadily in the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and then it, it kind of leveled off and it's hovered around between 10 and 15, 16, now it's 16%, but it's not growing very fast. And it, it's, it seems, there seems to be a problem, I think, at starting with very young children and getting women interested in physics at a very young age. And then I wanted to convey the difficulties that I had, but I wanted also to convey the joy of doing physics. I mean, I had, I had the good luck that my career spanned the entire period of the standard model from its inception to its verification with the uh, discovery of the Higgs particle. And I had a lot of fun. So, I, I, so there's a double message there. Your story has touched all our hearts, mine especially. You're a brilliant scientist and a wonderful person. And as I said at the end of my nature review, you did it all. Thank you. <laughs>